we're going to tell you everything you need to know about Virgin Voyages in this bumper ultimate guide, including how the pricing works and how they are very different from every other cruise line. And we've got an extra special surprise right at the end of this video. It's a link where you can book and get loads of onboard credit by using this affiliate link. Well, well ahoy there, cruisers. cruisers. I'm David and this is Ben. And together we're Cruise with Ben and David. Ta-da! So, first things first, Ben. Who are Virgin Voyages? Well, let me tell you, they are very different from your normal traditional cruise line. They're going to be amazing, glamorous, exciting, different from the norm, made for non-cruisers are all of these buzzwords that we're hearing. So yeah, they're going to bring something brand new to the board, something that hasn't really been seen on other cruise lines before. Yeah, they're definitely, they're positioning themselves as a luxury cruise line, but like you say, for non-cruisers. So they're shaking things up and they're doing everything differently. So they're going to have voyages filled with fun, adventure and excitement. They're really launching, as you said, to mix up and shake up the whole cruise industry. And something we like as well is that they are really pioneering women in the cruise industry, particularly in the higher roles and in some of the maintenance and the behind the scenes roles as well. And they even called their ships Ladyship. I love it. And they're really going to allow the crew to express themselves as well. So they're going to have tattoos on shore, which is really fantastic. So we're going to get to see a real side of the crew as well, which hopefully makes them very happy working for Virgin. I've worked for Virgin Atlantic before, and they are such a fab company to work for. So I'm sure the crew are going to be super happy. I'm really looking forward to these glamorous and vibrant ships. I think they're going to be something really special, guys. So two of the ships have been named so far. The first ship is going to be Scarlet Lady followed very closely by Valiant Lady. Both of these ships are going to be 18 plus, so adult only ships. So it's a great chance to get away from kids if you have them and enjoy a more adults sort of atmosphere. And they're going to be of luxurious design, sort of inspired by the curves of a yacht. So ooh, it's very glamorous. It's not all about the looks as well. They're actually going to be having zero single-use plastic on both of these ships from the get-go. And they've got cutting-edge technology to make the ships as environmentally friendly and eco-friendly as they can. Yeah, they've already reduced fuel consumption by 15%. This is really important to us, guys. It's doing good for the environment, which is what we want to see cruise lines doing. So it's very good that Virgin are doing this. So let's talk a little bit about the cabins. Well, there are a few different types. 86% of cabins on board are going to have their own balcony and 93% are going to have some type of ocean view so that leaves only sort of 7% who are going to be inside cabins. Yeah the cabins look really cool they're using the cutting edge technology each room will have a tablet which pretty much controls everything in the cabin. This includes the air conditioning and the lights and things like that. Yeah, we were so lucky to visit the cabins earlier on this year in London to have a look around and they look fantastic. Mm. They are so modern. So let's take a look at some of the different types of cabins. Starting at the very bottom, you've got the insider. So these are going to be the inside cabins and the sleep from one up until four people in them. Yeah, those ones for four people are called the social insider and they're designed for friends to uh, share an inside cabin. Inside cabins are the most affordable cabin on the ship. Then you've got the sea view cabins. These are cabins with an ocean view, so a portal or a window in them. And then you've got the sea terrace. So these are the balcony cabins. Mm -hmm. So the sea terrace, balcony cabins. So these are ones with a normal balcony. The balconies have an amazing handmade hammock on there as well. We got to try it out earlier on this year and it was fantastic. The rooms are really nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are very different to what you'd expect on a normal ocean cruise line, very modern. And one of the biggest things that a lot of people are worried about and have been given feedback about is this bed, so the sea bed. And this is, during the day, it's a sofa and then it converts to a bed on an evening. A lot of people worried that it's not going to be comfortable. Oh, well, we got, again, we got to try this out, guys. We can tell you right now, it is super, super comfortable. Yeah. And it is so easy to change. You can have it as a bed all the time. You can have it as a sofa in the day and a bed on the night. It is completely up to you. It only takes a room steward just a few minutes to change over. We've tried it both as a sofa and as a bed, and we can vouch that it is super, super comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't feel any different to any other cruise bed, does it? Exactly. And like you said, if you just wanted it as a bed all the time, you have that option. You don't have to have it changing. So if you're the type of person where you like to have 
uh, asleep during the day. You can just say to your room steward, can you just leave it as a bed all the time? Yeah, but it's huge as well. You can easily, two people can easily nap at it during the day, even as a sofa. And it's so nice if you want to just chill out and watch a movie during the day or sit in your cabin and read with your nice balcony open. It's the perfect place, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh la la la. Yeah, we're going up to the most luxurious cabins on board the ship. These are the suites known as the Rockstar Suites. And these range from smaller suites up to a massive mega rock star suite, which is huge, guys. Crazy, guys. These rooms feature things like a music room with music instruments, a massive balcony with a peak of view shower. So this is a shower that's outside. Just make sure you're wearing clothes while doing that, guys. Hot tubs, hammocks, premium amenities, and a huge marble bathroom with these awesome windows, which you can sort of see through. You can see the footage here. It looks amazing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really cool. The one thing I really liked was the little turntable in the room so you can uh, play some records. Bit of vinyl, bit, bit of old vinyl. school vinyl in there. Going back to Virgin's musical roots. Love it. Yeah, once again, modern, very modern decor. Really cool. But also, I kind of liked the retro vibe about it. Yeah. Sort of retro futuristic. Loved it. So let's talk a little bit about the entertainment that you're going to expect to find on board. There's going to be loads of bars, including the Champagne Bar, the Draft House, Red Bar, the Red Room, which is a multi-form theatre, which can sort of change shape and size. And it's going to have some really cool shows on board. They're calling it Off, Off, Off Broadway. So it's going to be something a little bit different and a little bit awesome. I'm really looking forward to see what they put on. And of course, there's going to be a casino on board as well. So if you do want to splash in cash and... Uh, Place your bets, you can do that in a casino. And then there's the groupie, which is the private karaoke booth, which are going to be available for hire. And because music is fundamentally a part of Virgin's DNA, guys, you can expect to see loads and hear loads of live music on board. Yep, that's going right through as well to the, some of the shops on board where they'll actually have a record store on board. So going back to Virgin Records, I remember Virgin Mega Stores. Many a Saturday I used to spend in Virgin Megastores when I was a kid. And you can buy some vinyl on board, which is really cool. And I think the motto really is to play all day and party all night. So you're going to find some fantastic parties on the nights with live DJs. There's even going to be a live DJ in the spa as well yeah. in an evening with spa parties. I heard the word awesome. mermaid hideaway. Something like that. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, it's, it sounds, uh, honestly, guys, we are genuinely so excited for this because it's just something so new. We think it's going to be fantastic. And as I mentioned, parties, you're going to have the Scarlet Night Party, which is the party that's going to end all other parties. So this is going to take part on the final night of your cruise. And you've got the Manor Nightclub as well, where there's going to be music and everything early in, lock-ins and all of yeah. that stuff as well, guys. But don't be going to the end of the cruise yet, Ben. There's so much more to do I'm before down. that. You've also got drag brunches, which sounds fantastic. Oh my God. So there's going to be drag brunches and drag bingo as well. <gasps> and on board, there's going to be the Squid Ink Tattoo Parlor. Now, I do have to admit, when I heard this, I was a bit tattoo parlor on a cruise ship. A tattoo parlor on a cruise ship. But yep, yeah, it's going to be a tattoo parlor that does all the tattoos with vegan ink. Yeah, and they're going to do body piercings and permanent makeup as well, guys. So treat yourself in yeah, there. Just don't have too many of them cocktails and then end up with a tattoo. I guess. <laughs> they are permanent. And maybe don't do it on a, on a rough sea day. Exactly. But yeah, there's going to be loads of outdoor spaces as well. So outdoors, bars, lounges, places to chill out as well. So there's going to be so much on offer. From everything that we've seen and everything that we've heard, it sounds like they're really blending the relaxation and fitness during the day with partying. Yeah. Night. So you've got spaces like gym and tonic. You've got an amazing gym on board with free classes as well. So there's plenty of places to work out. I think there's some outdoor workout areas as well, which looks fantastic and plenty of spaces for those yoga classes and things like that. So it's all about wellness. So being well, eating fresh food and amazing food around the ship, which actually takes us on to the next part. So yes. should we talk a little bit about the restaurants and food available on the ship? Well, first things first is that there will be no buffet on board. Yes, that's right. And this again has been something that everyone has been going, uh, what? There's no buffet? How is that even possible? Well, they're not having a buffet, but they are going to have what they call street eats and small stalls serving quick bites. So yeah, so it's going to be called the galley and it's kind of model on food halls and food truck inspired. So you're going to find everything from baked goods, paninis, burgers, mm -hmm. tacos, 
sushi, noodles, and even a 24-hour American diner. So whilst it is a little bit different from a buffet, it's going to be still quite similar, but with fresh food made to order with all of these little individual food carts and things like that. And it's going to be called the galley, so it's quite exciting to see what the food's going to be like. Oh, so one of the best things, guys, is that all of the food on board is going to be completely free, so there is no added cost, no speciality restaurants on board, and there's going to be 20 plus different eateries on board as well. As we said, there's no buffets. There's also going to be no set time dining or being assigned with different people as well. You can eat when you want, where you want, and who you want with. So who you want with, who, who you, you want, want to with, who, who you, you want, want to, to with. with. You know what I mean. Who you want, who you who would you like. Want. So should we talk about some of the different restaurants that are going to be on board? I'm really hungry right now. So let's let's Ooh. let's do this quick. So I'm you've starting. got the Gun Bay korean barbecue so you're going to be able to actually cook your meat on your table and this is said it's going to be one of the loudest restaurants because there's going to be drinking games while you eat including your first free shot oh great oh, good thing love a free shot the next thing is the pizza place pizzeria which is going to have totally customizable pizzas for you I love a good pizzeria oh so you can pick your toppings the type of dough everything like that you're also going to have the dock and the dock house. So this is sort of an outdoor and indoor Mediterranean inspired tapas meze restaurant. Mm. So you're going to be able to have little plates of food. It sounds absolutely delicious. You've also got Pink Argave, which is the upscale Mexican restaurant. Mm. Mm, that sounds oh, absolutely food. delicious. Everything's sounding so good right You're now. To make, I'm a bit hungry. Yeah. There's also Extra Virgin, which is an Italian restaurant on board. And the legendary Drag Queen Brunch as well. Yeah, so this is going to take place in Razzle Dazzle, which is actually a vegetarian slash vegan restaurant. But don't worry, it's going to have meaty treats in there as well if you do want to cheat. Cheats. Meaty cheats. Meaty cheats. You've also got the Wake restaurant, which is the high-end glamorous restaurant on board. And you're going to be served up um, surf and turf dishes in here, so steak and seafood. There's also going to be a raw bar and a trolley which goes around making lovely bespoke cocktails, which sounds Ooh. absolutely fantastic. One of the best things as well is that there's going to be food available 24 hours a day and a beverage service, all made to order. Not sure how this is going to work yet. I'm thinking maybe ordering on the app yep. or maybe, maybe. maybe like a room service kind of thing. So we're excited to see that. And there's something a little bit different called the test kitchen as well, which probably is a paid extra where you can sort of learn how to cook food and go to food cooking classes. It sounds very fun as well. There's so oh, much food 20 choices. Restaurants. I know, I'm so and it's hungry free. now. So the problem is going to be, guys, because these sailings are quite short, is that how on Squeeze earth do you fit all of these 20 different restaurants into one cruise? Mm. Mm. Well, you're going to have to have like four meals a day. And that's what Somebody's all, uh, got to that's, do it. And that's what all the wellness is for and all the exactly. gyms. Exactly. So you can go to the gym straight after, do a bit of swimming, go to a class, use the outdoor gym. Yeah, there's going to be... In between each session. Guys, I'm really sorry, but you are going to have to try out all 20 restaurants. Yeah. The free after all. So enough about what's on board the ship. Where is it going? So Scarlet Lady is going to be doing four and five night itineraries from Miami, where she's based. And she's going to be visiting some delicious ports, such as the private island Bimini, mm -hmm. which is in the Bahamas. So this is Virgin's own private island. And guys, from what we've seen of it so far, it looks absolutely amazeballs. It's pretty awesome, doesn't it? So there's going to be live DJ sets on the island with plenty of places to relax as well. You've got some really amazing guest artists as well who are going to visit and DJ there, including Mark Ronson and uh, Diplo which sounds amazing. But yeah, it's going to be a really relaxing resort which comes to life on a night. And I think they're staying there really late, maybe up to midnight, I think it was. So yeah, also available on the beautiful island of Bimini, you're going to find things like boating, snorkeling, and even historic shipwreck diving. And there's going to be parties and a massive bonfire finale late into the night. So some of the other ports that uh, Scarlet Lady is going to visit includes uh, Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic, Costa Mia and Cozumel in Mexico, Key West at the bottom of um, Florida, and San Juan, which is a lovely island. We've been there a few times. It's Ooh. a fantastic place. And Valiant Lady is going to be based in Barcelona when she launches. She's going to be doing longer itineraries, so seven night itineraries. And some of the nice things about this is they're going to be doing an overnight on the island of Ibiza. So this is oh. the party island of Europe, famous for its nightclub 
but also its beautiful beaches as well. Yeah, it really is a stunning place, isn't it? It's got the most amazing nightlife, which is great enough, but yeah, the beaches yeah. in the Balearic Islands of Spain are absolutely delicious, aren't they? Yes, but the whole itinerary as well is going to have later stays in port, which means that you can enjoy more of the time while you're in the port as well. So it's going to be visiting ports such as Barcelona, Ibiza, as you said, Toulon, Malaga, Parma, Gibraltar, Monte Carlo, and more. So then let's talk a little bit about what's included and what's not. So as you said, first of all, all the dining is included. There is no speciality restaurants on board the ship. And along with dining as well, as you also said, your gratuities. So there's not going to be any extra tipping on board. So when you get to the end of the cruise, you're not going to have a bill for the gratuities because it's all included. Yeah, it can save you a lot of money. You're also going to get free Wi-Fi on board and on the private island as well. That is, is a big one. Which is yeah. fantastic. All fitness centres and the classes are actually included in the price as well. And things like filtered still and sparkling water, non-pressed juices, filtered tea and coffee as well as sodas are completely included in the price of your cruise. So let's have a look at a few of the things which are not included in your cruise. So things like alcohol, speciality coffee, teas, juices and ice cream are all not included in the price. And like most of the cruise lines, spa treatments and shore excursions are not included. And of course, anything that you spend in the casino. The cabanas, which are little private hideaways on board as well, they're going to be extra. And things like, obviously, the shake for champagne app as well. Don't shake that app without knowing you're going to have to actually pay for that lovely champagne. So, yeah, guys, when you think about that, most things are actually included. Basically, it's just alcohol and shore excursions, which are not. And to be fair, we like to do DIY shore excursions and do everything ourselves in port anyway, and it barely costs any money. So you've got to take that into consideration when you're booking your cruise and you see that base price that all of these things are actually included. So then let's talk a little bit about pricing. And this is what's been confusing a lot of different people because it's very different to yeah. other cruise lines. Gratuities, all food and lots more are included in the base price. The price is actually per cabin rather than per person. So I think this is what has been confusing a lot of people. So when you see the price, that's actually per cabin and that's going to be the actual price. And because it includes all of these extras, we are getting so much included for your base price. Yeah, so this is Virgin's ethos of not nickel and diamond you. So they're essentially including as much as they can in that price. Should we have a little talk about who we think it's for? Yeah, so Virgin are really going for the people who are young and young at heart. So it doesn't matter how old you are, as long as you're over the age of yeah. 18. Yeah, you definitely don't need to be 21. We are definitely not. And we're really looking forward to this cruise. You can be any age, guys, above the age of 18. And just at least you like having fun, adventure, excitement whilst on holiday, you're going to really love Virgin. Everybody knows the Virgin product already. If you've flown with Virgin Atlantic, Virgin Trains, mm -hmm. Virgin Music, all of that jazz. They're a really fun company and you know sort of what they're like, guys. It's going to be something completely different to what you've seen before and really freshen up the cruise scene. If you don't like traditional cruising, so if you do not like set dining times and all of the old ways of cruising, this is going to be the cruise line for you. However, if you do like traditional cruising, this maybe isn't going to be for you. So guys, we have been working very closely with Virgin Voyages and we've joined their affiliate scheme. Basically, this means that if you use the link below, it doesn't cost you any extra money and we're going to give you some amazing incentives to book. And it gives us a little bit of kickback, so a little tiny bit of cash, which helps us support and run this channel it is super expensive to run so every little help mm -hmm. every little bit helps so let's talk about what you're going to get if you book with us you're going to get some extra onboard loot so this basically means you're going to get some onboard credit to spend whilst you're on the cruise for things like shore excursions alcohol gifts anything you like so if you choose to book an inside a cabin we will give you a hundred dollars to spend on board if you book a Ocean View cabin, you also receive $100. If you book a Sea Terrace, you'll get $200 per cabin to spend. And if you book a Suite Category cabin, you receive a whopping $400 on board credit. So all you need to do is when you're going to book, click on the link in the description below before the end of March 2020, and you're going to get that amazing incentive to book, guys. It really helps us out as well. Plus, you're going to get some great onboard spending money as well. So we thank you so much for supporting us. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Please let us know in the comment section below what you're most looking forward to about Virgin Voyages and hit that subscribe button. Do it right now, it really helps us out. And hit the bell button as well. We've got so much fantastic Virgin Voyages content coming up, so we won't want you to miss it. Big thank you to all our Patreons for supporting us. If you'd like to support us further, you can find out more by clicking the link in the description below. So that's it for this time. Until next time, happy, happy cruising. cruising.